Team, launch team, be advised, stay at your consoles. Everyone in the LCC, maintain your positions in your consoles. In the LCC, maintain positions at your console. Team, launch team, be advised, stay at your consoles. Everyone in the LCC, maintain your positions in your consoles. In the LCC, maintain positions at your console.
We have lift off of Antares, 54 free mission, delivering Cygnus on its nearest mission to the ISS. We also just got this video that I want to show you, new video shot by someone watching the launch. This has audio of the people around them, and I want to play it for you. You can literally see the light change there. I want to bring Tom Foreman in now. Tom, just before you before you start with your latest, I wanted to play again um, that 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 footage we just got from people who are right there on the ground. We're playing the slow mo now. I'm going to play that again, but from on the ground because you literally see the entire light along the horizon change uh, in this video that was filmed by someone who was just uh, nearby. Yeah, what you're seeing here, Aaron, is roughly three quarters of a million pounds of thrust being unleashed because this thing blows apart here and and when you you see that of course you're gonna get a big shock wave a big explosion coming outward that's why they keep people so far away I will say this Aaron as we watch that slow motion play of this rocket going yes, up and we're gonna play that again now this is a slow motion everybody of the formal uh, takeoff go ahead Tom yeah I'll tell you it, the almost the bottom two-thirds of this rocket are the first stage the first stage is a liquid-fueled stage. It uses liquid oxygen and basically rocket propellant, which is, which is actually a sort of a derivative in a sense of kerosene. That's not really the term for it, but that's what's being used here. Oxygen has to be poured into it, liquid oxygen, because it's simply burning so fast and so powerfully you can't rely on oxygen in the air. And right. quite clearly, when it starts blowing up, it's somewhere in that bottom two-thirds. That's where the first stage is, is pushing this thing skyward and was going to push it for about four minutes before the second stage would kick in. So that's a tremendous amount of force just being released there when there's some sort of cataclysmic failure in that first stage, Aaron. On behalf of Dave Thompson and the entire orbital team, uh, we do ex want to express our um, disappointment that we were not able to fulfill our obligation to the International Space Station program and to deliver this load of cargo, uh, especially to the researchers who had uh, science on board and the people that were counting on uh, the various uh, uh, hardware and, and components that were going to the station. Um, it's a tough time to lose a launch vehicle like this and its payload. Uh, it's uh, not as tragic as, as uh, losing a life associated with it, and so we're very happy to report that there were no injuries and the safeguards both in flight and on the ground worked as they should have, and uh, all we lost was hardware. That hardware, however, is very important and very high value to the company and to our customers. 
Uh, our team worked very hard to prepare it. We conducted a lot of testing and analysis to get ready for this mission. Um, however, something went wrong and we will find out what that is. We will determine the root cause and we will uh, correct that and uh, we will come back and fly here at Wallops again. This is an accident site and it is a rocket and it had a lot of uh, hazardous equipment or hazardous materials on board that people should not be looking for or wanting to collect souvenirs over. Um, if you find anything that washes ashore in the local area or uh, uh, came down in, in a, on your farm or in your yard, contact the local authorities and definitely do not touch it and keep people away from it. Holy sh Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.